In this video, I will show you how to execute your system commands or a Windows batch file or any scripting file using T system component. And as some of you may already know this, uh, this component supports only execution of only one single command. Right? There is a section called array commands, but uh, that doesn't mean that you can have multiple commands and execute in just one single component. So that's not true. Uh, I know it is a little confusing, but that's not true. But there is a workaround uh, using which you can do uh, execute multiple commands having one single uh, system component. So for that reason, I thought I'll make this video so that you know it helps the entire community. Uh, so let's get started. Okay, so I am on uh, my Talent Open Studio, and here is the uh, T system component already pulled up uh, so let's uh, look at the component and uh, properties here so there is a first section called home directory uh, this is the directory where your uh, scripting is uh, script files are present and of course you can automate it uh, using a con context variables and uh, if you notice here there are two sections one is a single command use single command use array command so use array command that doesn't mean that you can uh, execute multiple commands here Right, so let's start with uh, executing one single uh, command and then I will show you how to make use of uh, array and also how to set up, uh, you know, recursive uh, execution. Right, so let's go ahead and um, start on this. So the very first thing uh, cmd slash cc means uh, it will take this uh, the remaining string as a command and execute it on directly on the shell. Okay, so in my case it is just a windows but you can do it on uh, Linux as well. And uh, I have a temporary you know, a scripting available here. Basically what it does is it takes one input as an input parameter and it does um, uh, multiplication and then uh, gives the square of the input number. Okay, so let's quickly execute this on uh, command prompt so that we can see the same um, you know, behavior on talent side also. So the file I have here is um, square of number and I'll pass, uh, let's say five. It gives the square of five is 25. So this is how it works. Uh, if you give input a different number, it gives similarly, right? And if you notice, it's just one single uh, execution, right? So on the on talent side, I am setting my home directory because this is where my uh, script is available. All I'm trying to do is uh, cmd slash c and I'm calling this uh, batch file along with the input parameter. Let's go ahead and execute uh, the job. Okay, so here is output square of two is four, right? So it's very simple command uh, using one single uh, line. So the next one is, uh, let's enable this. This is where I have already you know, captured to save some time. Um, let me deactivate this. Okay, so the difference between this single command and array command is that uh, it is just the same command is split into multiple lines, right? And wherever you have like some parameters or, you know, the shell script uh, name or a batch file name or any input parameters in the, in my case is just one. And if you have like 10 different parameters to be passed, then what would happen is one single command will look really complicated and it is not uh, easily readable. So only for that reason, uh, they have provided this use array command feature, wherein you will take one single command and split it into multiple lines, right? So this way, uh, if you have 10 different parameters, it's easy to go back and change any values or, uh, you know, analyze or troubleshoot in case of any issue, right? So let's go ahead with this. And then I will show you uh, how to execute multiple uh, command soon after this. Let's run it. And here at the square of 10 is 100, right? Because I'm passing, um, I'm passing 100, 10, right? So the square of uh, 10 is 100. And uh, now we know this is still a single command. How do we execute multiple commands, right? For that, you can either use, um, so if it is a parameter related, uh, what I have done is here, just for uh, easier execution. What I want to do is, uh, instead of this hardcoded value, 
I will uh, parameterize this uh, using T loop component here and all I'll do is I'll connect it using uh, row iterate right so this way one single command will execute multiple times by default it starts from one and uh, steps by one until 10 values so it will execute 10 times right so instead of uh, you know hard coding this value I'll remove this and then parameterize using the global variable so the tloop component has a global variable already for the current value so when it starts in the very first um, execution the current value will be 1 and then it will increment by 1 right and I am applying one uh, additional uh, transformation here I am just converting this integer value to string because uh, for uh, the command we need to be passing only string values okay so that's the reason I am doing this okay so let's go ahead and run this job right so now you see uh, so the same one single command has executed 10 different times using t loop and let's say if you have uh, you know this command itself uh, command itself you have like 10 or 10 different number of records um, I mean uh, the number of if you have like more number of commands uh, instead of hard coded value you can either use another uh, t loop or in you know, a flow to iterate or iterate components have all those commands listed and then iterate it to uh, T system com uh, component. So that way you can even uh, instead of hard coded command, you can uh, make it dynamic and iterate through multiple commands. So uh, so that you can execute multiple at a time, right? So this is how you will execute multiple commands recursively using T system component in Talent. Thank you.